Good morning, and thank you for attending the 2020 Virginia Tech Virtual Golf Course Turf Grass Field Day. My name is Jordan Booth, and this presentation will be focused on a project investigating the impact of height of cut and nitrogen application timing on winter quality, cold tolerance, and dormancy break of Bermuda grass in the Mid-Atlantic. This study is part of a multi-site collaborative project with Virginia Tech and the University of Maryland and is funded by a cooperative grant from the Environmental Institute for Golf, the Virginia Golf Course Superintendents Association, and the Mid-Atlantic Golf Course Superintendents Association. Joe Doherty leads the efforts at the University of Maryland, while Wendell Hutchins and I lead the projects in Blacksburg and Central Virginia, respectively. First off, Wendell will be sharing his observations in the first year of the study from Blacksburg, while I report on our findings at Independence Golf Club in Midlothian, Virginia. Hello everyone, my name is Wendell Hutchins, and today I'll be discussing a project that we at Virginia Tech have been doing in collaboration with the University of Maryland. Uh, what we've looked at is the effect of mowing heights as well as late summer fertility applications on hybrid Bermuda grass uh, to determine how that affects uh, green color retention going into the winter dormancy phase as well as spring green up of the hybrid Bermuda grass. In this first plot, we have the 0.75 inch mowing height fertilized, and beside it, we have the 0.75 inch plot not fertilized. So you can really see right there the differential and the retention in the green color with the 0.75 mowing height that is fertilized. Now as we move up a little bit, we'll take a look at the half inch mowing height. Now this is a little bit scout, but it's also starting to turn a little off color. And this is a half an inch as I mentioned. This is fertilized. You can see uh, still some green co uh, cover uh, in there, about 50 or 60%. Now we move over to the non-fertilized and really only about 20 to 25% green color remain. Uh, so you can really tell stark contrast in these two plots. Now as we move up to the one inch mowing height, you can see how healthy this turf looks. This has been fertilized, this plot right here. Um, very dark green color, dense, uniform. And if you take a look to the left, you can see the off color uh, ness of the plot. Um, it's a little bit lighter, but it's still retaining quite a bit of that green color, even uh, unfertilized. So this higher mowing height is making a big difference in the green retention going into fall and winter dormancy. This is the first of two locations of this trial at the Virginia Tech Research Short Course at Independence Golf Club in Midlothian, Virginia. This first location represents full morning sun. Our research objectives include evaluating the impact of height of cut as well as the impact of fall nitrogen applications on winter quality cold tolerance, and spring green up of hybrid Bermuda grass. The plots on the left are being maintained at one inch and split into two nitrogen fertility regimens. Plots in the middle represent a typical fairway height of cut in the summer growing months of the mid-Atlantic. And the plots on the right are maintained at three quarters of an inch. Our preliminary observations from 2019 so improve fall and winter Bermuda grass quality and density, as well as improve spring green up. And we would currently recommend a fall nitrogen application, as well as an increased height of cut heading into the winter months. Of these three heights of cut, we would recommend the height of cut at three quarters of an inch on these plots on the right. The second location at Independence Golf Club represents a site with morning shade. The trees in the background of this video provide ample morning shade and Bermuda grass often struggles in these environments. So height of cut and fall fertility applications may have an increased impact. This video was taken in early October and the plots on the left clearly illustrate improved Bermuda grass color and density from fall nitrogen applications. Ultimately, we are gonna be taking plugs from all of these plots and subjecting them to freezer treatments to evaluate the impact of height of cut and fall nitrogen applications on cold tolerance of hybrid Bermuda grass in the lab. Finally, Wendell has some interesting observations from last summer regarding weed control. 
Uh, one of the cool things we noticed this spring, though, coming out of dormancy, was that the weed pressure was uh, reduced greatly, uh, particularly with the winter annuals, with the higher mowing heights going into wintertime. Uh, so these two plots I'm showing you now were mowed at one inch going into dormancy. And you see there are a couple weeds in these plots, but for the most part, very clean. Now this is June 29th, and we're still seeing differences. So very clean plots. Now when we move over to these two plots, these were mowed at a half an inch going into winter dormancy, and you see the weed pressure is up tremendously. Uh, much greater uh, incidence and coverage with the weeds we're seeing. Still some winter annuals sticking around. Um, so going in, even now, in the middle of the summer, we're seeing differences in weed control with higher mowing heights going into winter dormancy. Now lastly, this is our recommended mowing height going into winter dormancy at 0.75 inches or three quarters of an inch. You see the weed pressure is pretty much non-existent. Plots look very good. And we saw that they held their green color well in the fall um, and they greened up very quickly in the spring. So I think this is the recommended mowing height we're going with for fairways going into winter dormancy, three quarters of an inch.